Hey you guys, it's Jody. welcome back to my channel. And you guys said you wanted more affordable wig videos. I love affordable wigs, so here we are. I'm gonna do a video on this wig I bought for around $19. Her name is Ina, 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 Ina. So I bought this wig online and I thought you guys will love it. I'm gonna review her for you, give you all the specs, what I did to the wig, cause I mean, it is on the cheaper end, so it requires a little bit more customizing to make it look expensive. So um, anyway, her name is Ina, she's in a color 1B. Here's the card that came in the box. It says 100% premium fiber and is safe, heat safe up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So girls, first things first, I am absolutely in love with the curls. Now this wig, it has bounce, it has those perfect voluminous curls for like a night out. This is like the party wig, going out wig for dinner and for drinks and brunch and all that stuff. So I, the curls are absolutely amazing. Now the wig construction, a lot of the times when you have cheaper wigs, the wig construction is a little, almost like thrown together. Now I do appreciate that this wig has adjustable straps. It doesn't have any combs though, but it, it did fit my head okay. It was a little bit like, it is a little bit loose. It was a little bit bulky at the top. So what I did to get rid of the bulky part was I went in and straight up pulled out some of the strands of hair. It's the same as plucking, but what I do is part a section of hair and like pull two to three strands at a time right out of the lace. And that worked good. So now I think it has like a decent look. But the thing is, in the front, it has this, the lace right here is like, like an underlay. They, they put some sort of fabric underneath the wig. And then the last very like quarter inch doesn't have any fabric underneath. So it, the lace is like by itself. So it kind of creates a contrast like right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I had to pluck that too. I almost ripped the lace though. So I had to be super careful at the very beginning here. But I do like that they did that because I can't stand a thick wig where the, the beginning is so thick that it just looks like a wig straight out the box. Like no matter what you do, it's gonna look bulky. So guys, I went in and I flattened the top with this curling iron. It's by Conair and I actually got it last night. Thank you so much, Sally Beauty. But I went in with this curling iron. I just put it right on the part. Except I always, for my synthetic wigs, I always use 280 degrees. It's below for it's below the maximum temperature enough to where I feel like that's a safe temperature, like 280. But the wig says it's safe, it's heat safe up to 350. So I'm not using 350. I didn't want the lace to melt or the hair. So I just went straight in and tried to flatten the top because it had sort of like a hump and I I do not like humps and wigs. And the last thing I did just to address that issue in the front, I took maybe a dab of got to be glued. I um I put a drop under the lace right here and then I went in with literally a toothbrush and I I just held it like here for like 30 seconds, a minute. And that did help. It allowed it to look like like a human hair lace front wig would, where it sticks to your scalp and it kind of melts into your hairline. Let me see how it looks. It looks pretty decent. I think I feel like this is the most decent I can get it right now, but you guys get the point. You could still make the wig look really, really good. I am so impressed with this wig, you guys. Just mainly the curl pattern and they put enough hair on the wig. I can't thank Sensational enough for putting a lot of hair on this wig because I hate thin wigs as well. And I really like how they put the curls here so it could be like, you can frame your face by changing the bangs. But I do like that they create body just by the way they cut and curl the hair. For instance, right here, it's like naturally curled so you just like tuck it behind and you can have these nice face framing bangs. And the length of the wig is a nice length. It reaches me to like about my hip, which is long enough to where you can cut it because there's still curls in the wig. Another little trick I do with curly wigs is sometimes I'll cut it like into, not a bob, but a little bit shorter and you'll still see those curls. So I feel like if it's too long, I would definitely just cut a few inches off 
or when they get a little matted. So that's a good segue into, I guess, the cons of the wig. Synthetic wig with like, uh, like curls, not like tight curls, but synthetic wigs with curls where you have to brush the wig out or comb the wig out, those tend to like mat and tangle a little bit more than normal, like with say like a straight wig or like a tight curly wig that you don't have to comb or brush. So it tends to like tangle more. What I do with synthetic wigs, like I just carry a hairbrush with me and problem solved. Oh and FYI guys, I wore this earlier in the summer months. I did wear this wig just straight out the box. So it's not like brand new out the box, which is why I'm showing you like how, how it looks with ex extended wear. So the ends will kind of like get clumped together, you have to brush it out regularly, and then it would just mat up at the end. So you could just clip those off. I have no problem with that, because I mean, it's $19 for this wig. I could have paid $190, but no, I paid $19. <laughs> so I love, I love, love, love that amount. So guys, that's Inna. I love her so, Inna? I keep saying Inna. That's Inna, you guys. I love her so much. This is one of my favorite wigs actually, that's why I chose to do a video on it. Let me know if you did like this video you guys by thumbsing it up if you want more wig videos especially. So thank you guys for watching, check out my last videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Broco, broco.